farmers now decided to buy an M2 comp. <laughs> Sorry, I can't concentrate. I can't concentrate right now. <laughs> Shit, man. I'm getting all hot and itchy, guys and ladies. What's up guys, welcome back to Real Talk. So in today's video, I'm on my way to London to meet up with a good friend of mine. Now, a lot of you remember him before, he is the gentleman who had the 435 diesel. That video is now approaching 90,000 views, so thank you very much for that. But, he has gone and bought a brand new BMW M2 competition pack, which honestly looks stunning. So I'm gonna go down, find out what that car's all about, find out why he decided to buy it, why he chose the spec that he did, what he recommends to get on the car, as well as the things that he likes and dislikes. One thing I will say is if you follow me on Instagram at the moment, fantastic, brilliant, love that. If you don't, give me a follow. And if you do, share the video of you watching it on your Instagram story, I will try my very best to shout you out as well. Anyone who wants to do any collabs, gets their car on the channel, Hit me up on Instagram or email, prefer Instagram, and we can arrange getting your car on the channel as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The disclaimer at this point is I was meant to get more drone shots, but I kind of sliced my finger off, so couldn't really do it, so yeah. <laughs> Join me in the car with Carl. Now, a lot of you probably recognize him on the video of the 435, which is approaching 90,000 views at the moment, so thank you much. Thank you all for that. Um, but Carl has now decided to buy an M2 comp. <laughs> Sorry, I can't concentrate. I can't concentrate right now. <laughs> Shit, man. I'm getting all hot and itchy, guys and ladies. In this video, it's gonna be like an owner's review like we've done in the previous car. So why he bought this, what he thinks of it, because he's done about a thousand miles on it now, he's owned it a few weeks. Um, and we're also gonna talk about the specification on the car as well. So, let's get into it. Carl, bruv. Right, slow it down, because we've got, we've got a tour. <laughs> we've got a tour, bruv. Oh. Right, so let's start off with why you decided to get an M2, because there are loads of cars. Now, without getting into the ins and outs, it's a 50 grand plus car. I'm not gonna say exactly how much you spent, <laughs> but you could have got a lot of other cars for that money. Now, Chris Harris done a review saying a, a, a competitor would be the 718 Cayman, yeah. or you could even get a used M3 for the price. So why did you get this? Good question. Um... To be honest, I, I promised myself the next car I was going to get would be a, a fully blown M car, whether it be a, an M4, M2, you know, whatever. So, so you know, Barry, uh, Barry BMW um, Heathrow lent, lent me the M2 for the Goodwood Festival of Speed about two years ago now. And I, I'm not going to lie, it, it absolutely loved it, brilliant car. I wanted to get one there and then, to be honest, but I'd obviously just got the 435, so it wasn't really the right time to get rid of it straight yeah. away. Um, you know, I was happy with what I had as well. Carl did have a, an M135, the facelifted edition, just before the M140 came out, and then he went to the 435. At this point, we had no idea M2 comp at yeah. all was coming out. Yeah, that was it. And then the first round of British Touring Cars this year, um, on the stand with BMW and they just released the M13 uh, sorry M140 championship edition I thought you know what that's a nice little car I'll you know I miss the M135 I'll, I'll quite happily jump into one of those and I think off the top of my head there was 30 made so there's one of 30 and the guy said yeah you know if you want one you can have one of those so I was like brilliant right that's the plan I said now the only reason I wouldn't order this was if the M2 competition was coming out anytime soon um, race weekend went ahead, get home Monday morning, and surprise, surprise, there's uh, photos leaked of the M2 competition. And that was so, it. yeah, that was it. Lined up Mirrell at Barry BMW and said... Shout out to Mirrell. 
Merrill, <laughs> great salesman, thank you. Um, you know, had a quick chat with him and said, look, uh, as soon as these cars are, are ready to order, um, I want my name down. And he very kindly made sure that one was available. And yeah, it went from there. At this point, yeah, you didn't even want to consider other cars, just BMW. Yeah, for me, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I work with BMW so much that I'm, I'm loyal to the brand as such. But do you know what? Before I even started working with them, I, I've always liked BMWs, and I think I'm, I'm happy with the brand. I'm happy with what you get with the, the cars. You know, yeah. every every you, you know what you're going to get, basically. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, it's a very similar platform, isn't it, to car, the cars that you've driven? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the biggest change is B58 engine it was, it's gone to S55. Yes. So 410 brake horsepower. Did you notice a difference between this and the standard M2? Um, it, it's hard to say at the moment, because obviously I'm still running the car in. Yeah. Um, so it feels I'm, more potent though, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, trying not to go crazy with it, but initial faults, you, you can feel a slight difference, yeah. So yeah. I, I think that was a, a good move by BMW. You know, in general with this car, there's quite a few things different, um, which you'd obviously hope. Of course. Yeah. I think just, I don't know, make this car that little bit better than what what the M2 is, you know. And the M2, like I said, is a great car, but it's the small details now that I think they probably missed out on originally with the with the M2, which probably should have been there to start with anyway. The, the simple, the, the small things, like you look at the detail in the, in the steering wheel, for example, with all the M colors stitched in. Yeah. Uh, the M2 badges on the back of the seats, you've got proper M seats now. M seats now as well. Um, you know, all small things like that, I think BMW missed the trick, maybe not putting them in the, the original car, but yeah. thankfully they've you know, added them to the competition. So yeah, I'm pretty happy they've done that. Right, so now we're gonna get into the spec that he's chose. Now, unfortunately, I've had a look through the spec sheet. I don't have a fucking clue what I'm reading. And Carl <laughs> seems to have not known what he's ordered on the car. <laughs> the one thing I can say, visually, is the Hockenheim Silver. Yes. Yep, why did you choose that? Uh, so it was different from the original M2. I wanted it to stand out. I like the colour, to be perfectly honest. It's, it's a really interesting colour. It's like a matte, Ray it almost, is, it is nice. you know. You've also opted it oh, for the DCT, not yeah. the manual. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, what have you done? Whereas a lot of people are going to be like, yep, yeah, 100% know why he's done that. Yeah. Uh, it's down to personal preference. I would have had a manual. Yeah, for just sure. Cause, just because yeah. I, I love I love a manual, but why have you had the DCT? Yeah, so I think it's fair to say probably a lot of people are going to agree with you on that one. Um, for me, I sit in a lot of traffic. Day, on, yeah. on my day-to-day -day commute to work, there's a lot of traffic, and I perfectly, if I'm honest, I, I, I can't be bothered no, that changing makes, no, gears that manually, makes sense. Um, that makes and, sense. and that's probably the biggest reason. The good the gearbox. They said DCT. It, so. Yeah. Did I? Did you? Yeah. I had a funny, yeah. funny feeling. I said DTC for a second. Oh well, no oh, one will notice. Well, we'll anyway. get loads of hate in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> you spec it with DCT. You've done, boy. You've done it with. Um, Hockenheim Silver, which I can see visually. Now all the carbon and bits like that, that is a standard car, isn't it? On the on the inside. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you've also got the sunroof, yeah. which I think is a nice touch. So I've got to talk about the sunroof actually. Um, obviously, we've got the M Performance kit on the car. Um, which is? One, one of the things that could have been added was actually the carbon fibre roof. The carbon fibre roof was actually very expensive, but the thing that concerned me most talking to different people, the car doesn't come out of the factory with a carbon fibre roof. It actually gets delivered to the dealership as standard and the dealership will then fit your carbon fibre roof. So they cut off what's already there right. and add it on. Now for me that, I don't know, alarm bells start ringing, never mind the fact that it was well overpriced. So yeah, I went How for much was it? Off top of my memory with fitting and everything else. Um, don't quote me, I'm sure someone will in the comments, but I think around eight, eight to 10,000 pounds once it's all fitted, what? which nah, for me is that. just crazy. Yeah, yeah, right. um, someone's gonna tell me you can get it for a lot less, but we'll, <laughs> we'll find out. Again, keep an eye on the comments and we'll see. Sunroof, it's something I've never really specced on a car before, but uh, one of my company cars had a sunroof, and in the summer, just being able to open that, sit in traffic, if you're gonna sit in traffic, it's quite nice to have the sun on you it's as well. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, you know, it actually adds visually to the car as well, I think. Um, 
so yeah. With the black here, that makes yeah, sense. Something, something different for me, but I'm happy I, I, I spec that. Now, another option that you, you don't know if you've actually specced <laughs> or not, and <laughs> I've not done my research on what the car comes as a standard, because I thought Carl's a bit of a beamer guru, but obviously not. No. Um, that's what electric got, that's seats. What got Joe for. Yeah, that's what we've got Joe for. <laughs> Are they electric memory, though? Have you got memory? Yes, so you've got electric memory seats, um, which I know I previously would live by. Um, now, someone might be able to help us on this. I actually feel like I'm sitting quite high. And Miral, to be fair, good salesman, did warn me, goes, oh yeah, you know, you might be a little bit high with the, the electric seats. I still feel a little bit high and I'm struggling to um, get comfortable sometimes. And I, I feel like someone's gonna tell me that the uh, normal seats actually allow you to sit a little bit lower. In which case, I might have made a mistake there, but you know. But then you, but, but then you don't even know if you put them as an option. <laughs> so, yeah. so, we're not sure about electric seats, but you have opted it with Apple CarPlay as well. Yeah, so quick point, if you, if you can sit lower with the manual seats, then I suggest you get the manual seats. As well as that, you've also I'll put some images up of some video shots now of the carbon exterior back. Yes. Now, how much did that set you back? Because last time it cost you thousands. Yeah. How um, much did it cost you? Long story short, thousands. Uh, thousands? Thousands. Oh. Like an S on the end. Oh, um, oh okay. I was going to say. Now, obviously, retail value will vary slightly. Um, the carbon stuff is, is very expensive. Um, but I will add, it is very good quality. Um, you, if you have a look at the pieces close up, the, the quality of the well, the manufacturing of it all is, is yeah. brilliant. So, you know, fair play, it, it, they've done a good job at least. I think it adds to the car, it makes it stand out a little bit more. The wing, everyone has their own uh, preference on that. You either love it or you hate it, I think. Um, you know, I wanted a big wing on the car. Fair enough, so no, I, no, I like it. Simple as that. Another good thing with all the end performance parts with BMW, they're designed to actually have a function. They're not just there to look good. Um, so they are working for the car aerodynamically. Yeah. They're, they're doing something. So yeah, they're quite, so, again, really happy I put them on the car. With all those options, this car list price is just south of 60 grand. Yeah. Well, plus the end performance. Oh kit yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Like well, bloody hell. Okay, so, but, yeah, yeah, no, what do you mean am I okay, bruv? I'm just checking your right. It's an M car, isn't it? It's an M car. I'm just checking you're right. My God. Wow. How does the car make you feel when you drive it? That's an important question. A lot of people will know what I mean by that. Yeah, um, love it. Yeah, if I'm honest, it's it's brilliant. It It's smooth when it needs to be. And as soon as you want to put your foot down and have a bit of a play, it, it behaves exactly as you'd want an M car to behave. Yeah. Um, but it, I'd also say it's quite, what's the word I'm looking for? You, you can tell what it's going to do, if that makes sense. Yeah, so you, you, can, you can read the car quite well. Um, which, again, means you can probably push that a little bit further. Um, but yeah, no, feel great. The, the car's brilliant. It's best car you've driven for this this money. Definitely. Be yeah. Best car I've driven, to be perfectly honest with you. Really? Yeah. It's just, it, I, I think it does the basics brilliantly. Now, from what I've seen, Chris Harris reviewing it, and other reviews, I think they've almost aced this car. I think it's almost too good. Yeah. Because yes, it is expensive when you look at it. Yes, you can get an M3, but I just think looking visual wise, it's spot on. Love everything about it. Big question: Go What's on. it like on fuel, MPG wise? What are you getting roughly? Shocking. Let's have a look. Twenty-five average. That, that's not bad. Yeah. That's actually not that bad. But then you got to consider I spend most of my time on the motorway, so. Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah. It's going to make it a little bit better. Honest review, you've had the car a little while now. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, love the car, brilliant to drive. Um, I think it looks brilliant as well. Again, the aero package is is personal preference, but I think, like I said before, it, it really adds to the car. Yeah. Um, and I think BMW have just done it right. They've added all the small bits that uh, should have been on the M2 originally, so. It's fair enough, yeah, it makes sense. Um, One thing that you don't like, that you hate. One well, thing, it's giving me a backache, but I think that's just because I haven't set the seats up <laughs> properly. Right, no, that's fair enough. Other than that, so there's, no, there's nothing else wrong with the car. Um, it, it's really hard to pick. Um, you know, there's nothing I would say, 
I'm struggling with, apart from the exhaust. I don't think the exhaust makes enough noise. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.